Hey everyone and welcome back to this class, the NumPy stack in Python. In this lecture we're going to talk about how to load in data. Machine learning and data science is all about learning from data, so loading in a data set is something you'll need to be just an automatic reflex. There's tons of data out there that is unstructured. The internet itself is an example of that. If you could write a program to gather all the data on the internet, you would have a vast amount of data to do experiments on. Of course, this also requires vast computational resources and is a hard engineering problem, so we're not going to talk about this. Sometimes data is semi-structured. For example, if you run a web server and you look at your Apache logs, you'll see that each request goes in a separate line, but the data in that line is pretty heterogeneous. Other times, data is completely structured, and this is what you'll see when you look for actual things labeled as datasets. For example, Kaggle.com, a site that hosts data science contests, provides you with structured data. The famous MNIST dataset, which is a set of handwritten digits, is a structured dataset. More often than not, structured datasets come in the form of CSV files. CSV stands for Comma Separated Values. It means that each line represents a record and each cell in a record is separated by commas. You can open CSVs in programs like Excel because the CSV format is naturally a table. However, for us data scientists, a table is actually a matrix, and we like matrices because that allows us to do math. So we would like to know how to get a matrix of numbers from a text file in CSV format. In this first lecture, we are going to use our regular Python programming skills to turn a CSV into a matrix. It involves reading in a file line by line, splitting each line by comma, and putting each of the values into a list. The file we'll be working with is called data2d.csv, and it's in the same GitHub repo, but inside the folder linear regression class. So if you take my linear regression class, you'll actually be working with this file. So let's take a quick look at this file. You'll see that there are 100 lines, and each line contains three values. So eventually what we're going to want is a 100 by 3 matrix. We of course don't want to hard code the values 103, so we're going to read in the file as if we don't know these values yet. So I'm going to go to my linear regression class folder. I'm going to start up IPython. Now before we do anything, we'll need a list to store all the values we get. So I'm going to create an empty list. And let's also import NumPy. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is loop through each line. So for line and open data2d.csv. Next, once we have the line, we want to split by comma. So row is equal to line.split, and then we pass in a comma. So this row variable contains a list that contains strings representing each float value. Since we eventually want numerical values, we need to cast these strings into floats. The way to do that is with the map function. So sample is equal to map float and we pass in the row. Finally, we can append this sample to our list. So x dot append sample. Okay, now what we have is a list of lists. As you already know, we can convert this into a NumPy array using x equals NumPy array and we pass in x. So just check the shape to make sure it's the right shape. It's 100 by 3. So this is one way to load in data. If you have an unstructured data set or you want to do some custom processing, maybe this is what you'll want to do. In the next lecture, we'll look at a much more simple method of loading data using pandas.